Hello, just wanted to make a quick video tonight about my little project that I'm doing tonight. A bit of work on uh, some of these Makita 3 amp hour lithium ion batteries. I recently uh, picked up this nice little pile of them, all with a very similar problem in their voltage. Most of them are only charging it back up to 15 volts. Now I've gone ahead and stuck the drill in the uh, four corners there to open them up so my torque security driver will get in there to open some of these cells up I currently have a few already open and this is what we get lovely little 18650 cells now generally when these die they're only dying on two or three different cells Normally the ones furthest away from the heater, uh, the cooling fan. Or they get wet or left out in the rain and they get this kind of rust and corrosion going on on them. So I'm going to pull a few of these apart and I'll come back to the video. Okay, so after about half an hour of pulling batteries apart, we now have all these little packs of green cells there's even a 1.5 amp hour one I've only got 5 instead of 10 here were these cardboard wrapped couple, they were uh, generic aftermarket copy batteries and they actually appear to be assembled better than the uh, original ones they have the inclusion of this uh, rubber moulded mat in the bottom of them to protect the cells from a bit of vibration I'm guessing so they'll be handy for some other project this one with the red cells was branded Makita as well but it's the only one out of all of these that has red cells So these cardboard coated ones, this is actually a very good battery, this charges up well and discharges well, and still has around its 3 amps of rated capacity. And some of these you'll see have got a lot of corrosion and rust on the sides of the cells. So the next step from here is to tear them down into individual cells for testing any of these that look really corroded I might not bother with they can go back to be recycled but all the good looking cells will be pulled out individually charged up to 4.2 volts with my uh, lab power supply here and then discharged on one of these IMAX B6 copy chargers to get an accurate capacity rating and all the battery shells can go back to the tip. I've got a few other batteries here as examples of better batteries than the cells that are used in these Makita batteries. This is a uh, 18650 Samsung. Probably can't read it. Um, this was out of a uh, laptop battery. I've got a Samsung there. I've got a couple of LG batteries, another really good quality set. And some more Samsungs that are pink. Uh, you can work out the code of what chemistry they are and uh, their date stamp of when they were made. Laptop battery once again. And then I've got these green ones, which look a lot like the green ones that are in these Makita batteries that are made by Sony. Just a quick update on what I'm doing pulling these apart. I'll uh, break all these down and see how many good cells I get out of this big pile.